sitting wondering if you're here. Welcome to another edition of On the Carpet with Bolinto. I am at the 2016 edition of AY Live. This is one of the biggest comedy shows in Nigeria. And of course, it is Easter, so happy Easter. I'm so excited because the red carpet is gonna be on fire. Now, AY Live is sold out. So that means that we're gonna have a lot of hot celebrities coming through. And of course, you know, we're gonna be asking them quirky questions because that's what we do on the carpet with Valento. Now, this show is completely about you, so make sure that you let me know in the comments down below who you would like to see on the carpet. And of course, make sure that you subscribe because you don't wanna miss another edition of On the Carpet with Valento in the future. All right, it's AY Live 2016. It starts now. Nigeria and definitely I would have to say in my opinion in Africa Chiga Chioma What's up everybody? It's your girl again Chiga Hi it's your life My love is good It's like was that a good impression? You tried I tried I tried But you know Chima you can probably do like every single accent under the world can't you? Well not every single but like 11 of them so yeah That's a lot That's well, a lot That's a lot in one brain but you know Okay do another one do, do whichever one you want uh, let's see, I could do like a switch between two, like I could do, hello, hi everyone, my name is Chioma, and uh, I'm here in Lagos, yeah? yeah? Hello everybody, how you doing? My name is Juanita Chiquita, and I'm here in the Lagos, you know, on the carpet, Chase. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. What did you do today? I went to mom's and went to fried chicken together. Basically just spent time with the family, went to church. Uh, chilled, you know, we had the all-star weekend on the ABL, the African Basketball League, yeah. which was pretty interesting, it was exciting, it was something new. Let's talk a little bit about that, you know, this is African Basketball League, All-Star Weekend. What does that mean for Nigeria? What is it about? I mean, it was the very first of its kind. I mean, everybody that came out wanted it again. You wanted it to be like a repeat, a tripping, and over and over again, you know, it's, it's basketball, we're trying to step up the tempo of basketball, the level and the acceptance. Yesterday was the slam dunk competition and a five foot guy nearly won. It was just crazy. People were just shouting. If go, go and follow me on Sound Sultan at Sound Sultan on Instagram and okay. see what happened, what went down. It was crazy. Sound see, you've totally convinced me if I had known. Because you know, trying to get a basketballer, trying to get in there. <laughs> Yo, you, and you know what? The girls like them boys. They're like, oh, oh, oh yeah. Sound because I'm tall. You see how tall I am? I'm like 6'1. Yeah, 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 you need a 6'7 guy. Exactly. Hook me up now. Yo, yeah, come on, come on. I know some very nice guy you might like. Now, you know that today's Easter and a lot of people like, you know, Jesus is like a superhero. He's superhuman. He does amazing things. He's risen. If you were a superhero, what kind of powers would you have? Huh. I want to be everywhere at the same time. Open your present. Yeah, like be here now, be in the US like in the next five minutes, go to London in the next ten minutes. I prefer to disappear like, you know, is it be more fun to come? and start having the fun, catch the phone, the rest of them, and then boom! The oh, Clara, you're killing me, you're killing me! I like to fly. See, I'm totally for teleporting. Well, good for you. If I fly, I'll still get to the other place. <laughs> the power to have every other power that I want to have. To read minds. I have the power to absorb everyone's powers. You are the worst! Oh, I'm the best, actually. So if I come here, you know, you have power, I'll take you on. So I have everybody's power. Power to correct things. I don't know. But I just want things to be, to be, to work well in this country, man. I'll just power, let there be light. I'm telling you. Yes. Yes. Power, let, let there, there be, be power. Let there be thrill. <laughs> let there be light. I'm telling you. Power of healing. Power of healing. And uh, to be psychological healing. Let us talk about that amazing Sierra dance video. That was probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. How did that happen? It was God's grace. And from the moment, uh, you know, it started with a, a bit of nervousness about um, she had an experience with Nigeria earlier, a few years back, and now she wasn't too sure. And she came in, and somehow she's just soaked into the genuity, the ingenuity of our our culture. And she allowed herself. She, I think, she open her mind one yeah. more time to absorb real Niger. And when she did that, it came at the right time. I mean, it's so obvious that, that you know, the chemistry between the both of you was so strong. How long did it take to, you know, for it to learn, teach her the moves? It was, it was more like of a discussion than a, a tutorial. Yeah. Now we're at a comedy show and of course, yeah. AY Live is absolutely hilarious. Yeah. And you are a funny guy. Ooh, I okay. want to find out what is the 
best prank that anyone has ever played on you or you've played on them considering the fact that April Fools is just around the corner? I have played too many pranks on people. I can't remember, but my most popular pranks are my phone call pranks, especially when it's a friend that I've known for a while and that friend has lost my number. So if I call and say, sorry, who is this? Oh, you've just set me on fire. Change my voice once I've been like, eh, so you carried me last night, you don't know, baby. Oh, I'm oh no, you did it. I've done one to my boss because I told him that one of our newscasts actually fainted. Okay. Yeah, and then my boss was actually shouting on the phone and was screaming. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Please, that. We now told him it was April Fool. I prank people before April Fool's Day because I think there are too many fools on that day anyway. <laughs> so there's no need searching for them or being part of them. Just let the fools have their day on April 1st. If it's a joke, I, I, I'll, I'll be able to catch on. But if it's something damn serious, then they catch me. They usually always catch me, yeah. That always captures me. What is one of your favorite comedies? Favorite comedic movies ever? That's it is in Atlanta. Yes. I knew you were going to yeah, say yeah. that. Well, yeah. I, I thought about it very heavily before. <laughs> but I was thinking, eh, if I said it, was it because it's part of it and everything. Yeah, it compromises my judgment. But truly, that's the best for me. Now, did you feel like, you know, when you decided to do that role, that it was something new for you? Because we got to see a comedic side to you. You know, we're used to the Playboy, Super Suave Ramsey, but this was a funnier side to you. I know, yeah, it was, it's cool. Like, everybody's got like a sense of humor, like a humor side of them, you know, everyone has got it, yeah. And that, that happened, so I'm okay with it. But when I did it, it was like, if I couldn't actually tell, I said, you, this boy is having you funny. <laughs> but you know what I'm really excited about? I know on May 29th that you're going to be having your own show. So let's talk about that. Yeah, it's, um, it's called, um, it's, the hashtag is Shalanga. Okay. Now, every year I do a stage play with just one celeb. And then um, um, then I, I, I embellish with music and comedy. But majorly it's a stage play. And then it's a stage play that talks about um, the country generally. Um, satire yeah. of everything that's going on in the country. So basically that's it. And then it's been working. I've been doing it. I think this will be the eighth edition I'm doing. Yeah. This year will be the eighth one. And then I'm also acting with AY. When I told him, he said, yes, you don't tea. <laughs> you want to Yes. Well, that's it for On The Carpet With Bolinto. I hope you guys had so much fun. The show is about to get started, and I had a wonderful time interviewing our celebrities. I mean, we have a lot of funny celebrities in Nigeria, and also a lot of people who like to do a lot of pranks. Be careful. April Fool's is coming. Don't be made a fool of. Let me know down below what's the best prank or the worst prank that someone has ever done to you. And of course, make sure that you comment and let me know who you would like to see on the carpet. The show is about you. I interview who you want to see. Subscribe so that you don't miss the next edition of On the Carpet with Valento. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.